the feeling that we have that flying in planes more dangerous because we remember the last time a, a plane crashed? Is that based on the availability heuristic? Absolutely. We know from a lot of psychological research, and that's a great example, that people tend to um, be very bad, and we're all bad about this, at uh, estimating uh, risks, health risks, and um, travel risks, and so on. So you're exactly right. People uh, massively overestimate how dangerous it is to, to fly. In fact, flying is uh, far safer, as we know, than, than driving, uh, thousands of times uh, safer, in, in fact. But, of course, when there is a, a plane crash, that's obviously extremely tragic. It understandably garners an enormous amount of media attention, oftentimes for days on end. Uh, when, in fact, there are tons of, I live in Atlanta, and there are multiple single-car fatality crashes here every every week uh, that we we don't typically hear about, or at least we don't hear much about it on the news. It does not make big news, so we overestimate uh, risk. Same thing is true of, uh, of health risk. Not to minimize the uh, risk of uh, swine flu. Of course, there have been some, some tragic deaths from uh, swine flu, and that's, that's just terrible. But in fact, swine flu does not seem to be much more dangerous. In fact, maybe somewhat less dangerous than other kinds of flu viruses. We don't know we often don't hear about all of the people who die from other flu viruses and have died in past years when, in fact, uh, thousands and thousands of people die every year from uh, the flu each year. Again, because of availability, when things get a lot of media coverage, we tend to overestimate their risk. When things do not get a lot of media coverage, we tend to underestimate those risks.